So, you know, I forgot there was a Mandalorian episode coming out today. I don't know how. I just woke up and I'm like, oh, that's right. It's Mandalorian Day. I forgot. And then I, I turned on the episode and watched it after I get finished getting ready for school. Uh, this is probably my favorite episode so far. You know, this episode starts, Mando's getting a shootout, and then he has to stop on a plant, get his ship repaired. And we meet this character, I don't know if they said her name in episode. She's like a mechanic, and she's fixing Mando's ship. I loved her. I think the actress, I don't know her name either, who played her, did a great job. I loved her in this, uh, uh, in this uh, part. And... You know, the thing that threw me off at the beginning of this episode is Mando left Baby Yoda in the ship. And I was like, why would you do that? I'll, and I thought, well, are they ever going to address how irresponsible like he is with that baby? He just like leaves him everywhere. He like, he just. He leaves people with the baby and things like that. I mean, come on. But then she finds the baby, takes hold of it, and she's just babysitting it. She doesn't realize how expensive of a bounty it is. And while Mando goes out to get, uh, go get another bounty with this guy, and they go catch this this bounty hunter, and she, um, so you know, she convinces. The other guy that Mando's with. I don't think they said his name either. I think the actor who played him did a good job too. I don't know his name either. But he uh, he was like, you know, if you turn me in, I you'll, you'll get a big reward for the Mandalorian's head. Basically. And so he shot and killed her. And then, you know, Mando had to kill him. Which is kind of unfortunate because we just met him. And I thought he was a cool character. But whatever. And, um, yeah, Mando flies off of Baby Yoda. And they did address that he needs to, like, work on his parenting skills a little bit better. Because he's just leaving the baby with people. I get he's out bounty. The thing about it, though, is kind of difficult because he's a bounty hunter. He just kind of leaves and goes on things. So, I don't know. I liked the music in this episode. I think this episode had, like, the best music out of the whole season so far. We got, like, uh, I think there's four more episodes. No three more episodes after this it will, so there's one next week there's one the week of Rise of Skywalker and then there's one after the week of Rise of Skywalker so if it sucks we still have good Star Wars content coming out basically oh my gosh that movie's probably gonna suck please don't please don't please don't uh, but yeah I really like this episode um I like that you get to go to different planets. You just see random characters that you only see like for a few episodes or maybe just one episode and they might come back later and things like that. I like that. I think that's a lot of fun and it's really getting me into the show. I think this is the best shot episode, had the best effects out of all the episodes. It just had the best pacing, music, acting, everything. And I think it was just really one of the best episodes so far. I think... I think this is the best Star Wars content since the original trilogy. I love Clone Wars, but Clone Wars has got some issues. You got that crappy movie. You got um, most of season one. You still have Jar Jar Binks in the Clone Wars in certain episodes. Of course, you can skip those episodes, but and he's not in it that much. But still, he is there. It's still a lot of political babbling, so, you know, I'm just saying, it's, it's got some problems, but I love that series, and it's a great show, but still, and so, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it is not, it is not doing it for me, uh, you know, as, like, the best Star Wars show. I think it's a great Star Wars show, it's probably second best to The Mandalorian, honestly, but I don't know. This is a great episode, though. I'm super excited. Baby Yoda just got too cute. This episode, I was just like, oh my gosh, Baby Yoda. And they're making a 10 inch Funko Pop and a, a plushie. I just, I need, I need a Baby Yoda on my shelf. I need it. I have a problem. I have a problem. Oh.